So uh, if you're like me, you really appreciate a, <clears throat> a good cup of espresso. Um, I have uh, had this Cuisinart over here for probably about, I'd say probably about two years. Um, it, unfortunately, recently uh, the power button went out, so I haven't been able to really take advantage of it uh, for a bit, and I really need my coffee, so I've been forced to go up the street. You know, one thing about uh, these old, you know, espresso machines, they're nice, these nice, these new ones are cheaper and they're pretty strong, but the wands tend to get really nasty and dirty if you don't clean them you know, intensively every second you get done with milk and um, over time if you lose the sleeve it becomes even more dingy and disgusting. So and I've obviously just cleaned a lot but over time it just, unless you scrub it like a crazy madman it ends up getting dirty. So in my new search for a machine, um, I got online, did some research and found that uh, in Europe there seems to be quite a big craze on this device called the uh, Nespresso um, Cities. Um, and really anything that's Nespresso. And what Nespresso is essentially is a company, it's part of the Nestle company, that uh, creates coffee in these unique little pods. So this is, um, and I hate pod machines normally, I'll be honest with you, but these pods are made out of aluminum, um, and they, um, they basically put the coffee in and then seal it up. Um, so you're not uh, faced with having to store the coffee and worry about if it's, you know, gets, bad after, you know, usually about a week or two of time. Um, so it's nice and sealed. Um, but the units are cool. They come in all kinds of flavors. So, you know, over here I've got, you know, all kinds of different colors. There's the dark colors like this one, obviously, which is black or this dark green one. This basically indicates the intensity. So as you get lighter all the way here, which is kind of an almond flavor, um, basically they they range from strength, if you will. So if you like a really strong coffee, you'd probably want to get something like this dark green one, which is um, um, really dark and strong, or the black one. Um, uh, this is called Rosetto. Um, uh, Resurrect, excuse me, ri yeah, ris Rosetto, Rosetto. They're all in, uh, you know, Ital in Italian, so, you know, I don't speak very, I don't speak very well Italian, so. But uh, while I was in Europe, one of the things I did notice was the, was the strong, really good coffee that was there. I'm not talking about burnt Starbucks coffee, I'm talking about really good coffee in Europe. And this machine obviously um, is meant really for that. So, uh, getting on to the actual machine. Um, it has uh, in the front here a, a, a pod dis, a kind of discarder. So you'll notice there's about six, no, there's, yeah, there's six pods in there right now that have been discarded after a, uh, actually, I'm gonna, take them out here, just to kind of them away. Um, the pods basically, after you get done using the machine, the pods basically um, uh, shoot out the bottom so that you can you know, get rid of them. But the top here is where you load the pods. So I'll just kind of take you up here. It's just a hole, essentially. Um, the pods go inside the hole, and um, what happens is once the pods are inside there, um, it pokes three holes in the back, and perforates the front um, and basically expels coffee out throughout the pod and it's 19 bump or excuse me 19 bar pump which is a lot stronger than something like this I think this is maybe 12 if max um, not a very strong uh, espresso pusher but this one has some really good push on it and so it's able to expel the espresso out quite well so um, <clears throat> I'm gonna make some basically a cappuccino and kind of give you an idea of how it works so this happens to be my favorite pod, um, and the one that I use the most. Uh, I actually bought these in bulk, so um, I bought several of these ones because I like the taste a lot. Um, so essentially I'll put the pod up in the inside, press the machine down, I actually need to warm it up, so you have to bear with me a bit here. But <clears throat> you'll notice here on the top there's, there's basically two buttons. This button on the, on the left here is for a short pull, and this is for a long go, which is a long pull. It basically gives you more of that American style coffee that probably many people are used to. Uh, in the back here, I got this with milk. It's called this is called the Cities with Milk, and this is essentially a milk frother. So I've already actually added some almond milk, which, by the way, for any of you that may or may not have tried to whip almond milk is really really difficult to whip it's a it's just 
it's very painful because it's not it doesn't have the consistency of milk. Um, milk doesn't really get along with my stomach, so I tend to not really like to drink milk a lot. Um, down here is where you would store the different uh, attachments. So right now it's the whipper, but on inside on this unit is uh, is this is what you use for a traditional latte. Um, so that's available, and you can get the unit without without this milk attachment, but it's great to have. I like to drink my coffee with milk, some people don't. So, getting onto the unit, so it's all warmed up now. I'm gonna start the milk up, and uh, if you can hear that. I don't know if you can hear that, but it's really, really quiet. Really, really quiet, like I could barely even hear it. Um, um, which is kind of nice. Um, it's not like a traditional frother, steam frother, which is, you know, making a bunch of noise and sounds like, you know, the demons of hell screaming. You know, it's really loud. Um, so, anyway, uh, we'll put it down here. Kind of give you guys an idea of how this machine works. So, I'm just going to take a traditional pull. So, I just push this button once. And the coffee begins coming out. It makes a really good crema. Uh, I mean, it is just the, the cream on this coffee is super thick. Um, I actually was really surprised at how thick it is. You can't really see in the cup. I mean, you kind of get a sense, you know, a little bit, but it is really thick. It's very nice. Um, usually, you know, at least a couple millimeters on the top of crema, uh, which is really obviously very nice to have. This is my favorite coffee shop, which is um, Mirage Coffee. They're actually on the, on Vancouver Island. So they're unfortunately unavailable here in BC, which kind of sucks, which means I'm faced with using uh, <coughs> using this machine <laughs> to try to emulate. Um, but anyway, the, um, the coffee, or excuse me, the, the uh, milk, so as I stated, you know, almond milk is really tough to whip. You just have a look in there. I mean, that is really thick. And I'm just going to pour this out so you get a good shot. It's just super thick. Super, super good. I mean, probably one of the best cappuccinos that I've had outside of like Italy. I mean, it is that good. Um, it tastes that good. So that's it. This is again the uh, the Nest. Let me see if I pronounce it right here. <laughs> Nespresso Cities with Milk uh, review. So cheerio. So uh, if you're like me, you really appreciate uh <coughs> A good cup of espresso. Um, I have uh, had this Cuisinart over here for probably about, I'd say probably about two years. Um, it, unfortunately, recently uh, the power button went out, so I haven't been able to really take advantage of it uh, for a bit.